Hello, welcome to Van Diemen's Land Model Bench. I'm Dan, and to another product review. And this time we're going to be taking a look at the Army Painters War Games Mega Brush Set. This is, uh, according to the blurb here, handmade wargaming brushes with the famous Army Painter triangular handles are now included in the awesome Kalinsky Masterclass brush. This set has all you need to paint armies of miniatures. So if you're more of a, uh, I guess, a mainstream model, you may not have heard of uh, the Army Painter, but they make a whole heap of products, washes and paints and brushes and other bits and pieces. They sort of specialise in people who are interested in doing the miniatures for uh, tabletop wargaming, but of course a lot of the products like this are equally useful and applicable to any modeler. I got this one online uh, from Mighty Ape, which is a New Zealand um, online retailer. They also sell in Australia now, and I got this at a bit of a sale, so that's the reason why I picked it up. But I can't recall the price, but I'll put that up now on the video for you. And that'll be in Australian dollars. Let's have a look at the back of the packaging here. And we can see we've got a um, list of the brushes that are included in the set, along with uh, a description of what they're for. So I'm just reading from the back here. We've got um, insane detail, stippling, small dry brushing, large dry brushing, vehicle dry brushing, detail, character, regiment, monster, and the psycho. So some interesting names, choices there. And of course, we also get an extra brush uh, free, which is the Kalinsky presumably named after someone who's very good at doing figure painting. Um, so that's the outside of the, of the uh, package, I don't think. Oh yes, there's a product code here if you are looking for it. It's ST5113. All right, let's open her up and uh, see what's inside. Okay, so we've got our brushes here obviously, but we also get uh, the Wargamers Army Painting Guide, which looks kind of interesting. So let's have a bit of a quick look at that. Oh, excellent, so we've got some step-by-step uh, -step instructions here, and look at things on how to go about painting your miniatures. So a bit there on pre-assembly, uh, different types of glues filing, uh, doing plastic miniatures, assembling different types of miniatures there from look of things. Okay, working with some primers, what choice of primer colour you should uh, consider for the subject you're doing. And more primers there, base coating with war paints, which is um, the Army Painter's own range of um, paints, I believe they're acrylics. Yep, they are. And we've got a list here of what they are and uh, some of the other things they do. So they've got uh, washes as well, they've got metallic finishes, and they've also got some effects wall paints. Uh, a little bit of information there about what colours you should choose from. There on uh, technique for dry brushing, on washes, on highlighting. It's actually quite a useful little book, even if you're not interested in the particular subject matter that they're painting. Obviously, a lot of these techniques would be applicable to any kind of figure painting if you're doing, say, you know, 35 millimeter uh, figures, or 135th scale, I should say, uh, figures for your um, dioramas and things. Wargaming brushes, quick shade, so there's a little bit of um, advertising there for some of their products. Okay, that's quite quite interesting. I'll have a read of that later. Uh, we've also got. Another little brochure, which looks like, yeah, this is like a little product brochure. It's got some examples of the sorts of things that they make. Again, it's quite interesting, so I'll look at that a little bit later on. Let's have a look at the main focus of this video, which of course is the brushes that we get. They're all in this uh, plastic case. So I open that up. Okay. So the Kolinsky, which is our bonus brush, you can see here is in black and uh, usefully all the brushes are protected, the ends of them are protected there for shipping. Some people like to leave these on, some people don't. 
Uh, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether that's a good or bad idea. But we can see that's got, uh, if you can see that, that's got quite a fine tip on it. The brushes are triangular, which actually is very comfortable in the hand. Um, they feel really nice. They're not particularly heavy wood, they're fairly light wood. But yeah, I do like the uh, shape of the brush handle, that's really nice. I think that should give you very good control. Let's have a look at the other brushes we get in the set. Okay, so first of all the triangular one, so I'm just curious, let's just have a bit of a look here, yep, so the, the ones with the triangular um, handles on them are actually exactly the same handle as what's on this Kolinsky limited edition brush, um, which is nice, and I also like the fact that they've even got uh, some labelling on them, so if you can see that there, but that actually says Wargamer Insane Detail, so they've actually got an explanation about what or, I guess a recommendation about what the brush would be best used for, which is nice. They're also all stamped with their own product code, so presumably we can replace these individually in the future if we need to. Uh, this one again has a extremely fine point. Um, very nice point on it actually. Won't carry much paint, but for those little detail pieces you're going to do on faces and things, fantastic. I guess that's why it's earned the moniker Insane Detail. Uh, some of the other brushes aren't triangular. This one's just got the more conventional sort of uh, cylinder shape to it uh, with a tapered end. But again, quite a nice brush actually. I'm just um, rubbing against my finger there and it's, it's spreading really nicely. That would hold paint really, really well. This one is the Monster brush. So we'll just quickly go through the rest of them there for you. So this one here I'm holding is the uh, stippling brush. And you can see it's already been cut basically, so it's a bigger brush that's already been cut, ready to go. These are actually quite impressive, I'm actually quite liking these. So hopefully they'll work as well as they look. Um, this one's a small dry brush, so you can tell that if you have a look at the uh, end there you can see it's been set up not quite a, um, a flat end to it. You see it's got a bit of a tapered edge. So it looks very nice as well. So that's a small one. So that'd be great for little figures and things. Um, presumably we've got a bigger one here. This looks like another. Yep, this is a dry brush as well. This one is a large dry brush. This, brush. this is the one they were suggesting for um, vehicles and things like that. Again, same sort of profile on the brush. But they do feel really nice. And they're a nice weight to them as well. So, so far they're really impressing me. Um, the Wargamer Regiment. I'm not quite sure what that means. But I guess, looking at the brush profile, oh yeah, this has got a lovely uh, tip on this one. So this one would be, I'd say, great for doing things like, for example, belts and webbing and things like that. Um, again, really nice brush, really nice weight to it. do like the feel of those triangular shape ones too, they feel very nice in the hand. This is the Wargamer character and again a very nice fine point on that one, lovely. Very nice. Now if these brushes do keep their points they will be excellent. Unfortunately we won't know that without a few weeks uh, or months use to see how they work but I'm encouraged by the feel of them. You can normally with a cheap brush you can sort of feel the end of them and if they feel I don't know, you can just tell very quickly whether or not a brush is going to keep its shape. These feel like they will keep their shape. This is the Wargamer Detail, and again, another lovely fine tip on these. So this brush set is absolutely perfect if you're a 135th scale modeler, or if you build perhaps aircraft kits in smaller scales and you want to paint figures and things like that for them, I think this set would be perfect for you. Well, that's... Uh, Obviously one of the reasons why it really appealed to me. This is the Wargamer Vertical and Terrain. So you've got a nice flat brush. It looks stiff on the camera, but it's it's certainly a little bit more stiff than the other brushes we've been trying, but it's not, um, not overly so. These are actually very nice brushes, I've got to say. 
I'm uh, quite impressed with these. Okay, last one to look at. This is the Wargamer the Psycho. And I think the reason I've named it that way is because, if I put it in frame there, it's got the tiniest, tiniest uh, brush head on it. There you can see it's very, very tiny. This one would be perfect for picking out um, details like eyes and things like that, eyebrows and that kind of thing. Very, very fine detail. So there you go. That's the, uh, the complete set of brushes that you get with... Uh, the Army Painters Wargame Mega Brush Set. So if you're looking for a one-stop shop, if you like, to get all your brushes for doing your figures, um, I think you could do a lot worse than this one. It certainly is impressing me, even just out of the box. So that's our review. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one.